Welcome to another episode of The Outdoors with Rich. We are on the water in Crystal River, Florida. Is that where we are? That's where we are. Crystal River, guys. We've been here before, but not only are we on the water, we're also camping. We have our small travel trailer with us this time, and we're camping at Crystal Isles RV Resort. We're already put in, and we're heading to the Gulf of Mexico to see how the scallops are compared to one of our more recent videos where we nailed the scallops in Steenhatchee, Florida. Speaking of that, you should go check out that video because it was an awesome trip. Here it is. Now we've been told the scallops are not as good here in Crystal River. Uh, we've been told this by some of the locals that are camping and have been going in and out. It is uh, late July. That season here opened about a month ago, but it opened even sooner in Steenhatchee and we still did really good. So hey, we're just gonna see how this goes. You excited? Yes, I am. Awesome. And also we got Ricky here on the front of the boat. We'll check in with him in a little bit and we're meeting up with some friends out on the water. We'll see you soon, Tim and Donna, Hunter and Aaron, and the rest of your family, whoever else <laughs> is with you. waiting on mom. You want to go ahead and get your sun spray going? Okay. Morning. All right guys, so the campground has this dock and this boat ramp for us to put in. Some nicer camps get to be, more permanent camps get to be here on the water. And then out here is the canal leading out, which should dump into Crystal River and give us the ability to head out to the Gulf. Or we could go up river and swim in the nice fresh spring areas. But there it is coming around the corner. Once we hit that, we're back in the river. Water is beautiful. I'm gonna drop my scallops 
in the boat here if you want to get a picture. I've been in the water for about 15 minutes. Is there a spot right here I can dump them? Mm-hmm. You ready? Yeah. Are they all in there? You got zero? Zip? I got zero. Zip? Nada. So after 15 minutes of swimming, all these people out here, it is the end of July. This season opened like 4th of July weekend. I haven't seen any. I'm not saying they're not out here, but we also started off kind of slow in Steen Hatchie, so. What we'll do is we'll, I guess, swim around a little bit more, double check it, let you guys give an opinion, and then we'll try another spot. So guys, let me show you around this place they call Crystal Isles RV Resort. So this is a little bit of Crystal Isles RV Resort in Crystal River. Pretty cool place with its own boat ramp where you can put your boat in and access Crystal River and then the Gulf of Mexico right from the campground. It's a private boat ramp. Okay guys, I'm currently walking back to the boat ramp with the camera and the microphone. Usually that's the top priority items to take with us when we are on a trip. But for some reason, Rich forgot it. So here I am, saving the day. We'll see you soon. Let's see if we can get his face when he realizes I'm carrying the camera. Are you forgetting anything? Yeah. What could that be? My wife. And? And? Camera. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, let's see if we get some, if we can get some gas, ice. What else do we need? bait. Guys, this is a fantastic marina. If you're ever in the Crystal River area and you're in need of ice, bait, fuel, supplies, pay them a visit. We don't know the area in terms of anything but going out the channel yeah. and hitting the grass areas. This is Charlie. Super knowledgeable. Great customer service. Really enjoyed meeting this guy. Hey!
Awesome, thank you. You want to jump in and I'll hand this stuff to you. Oh, there's some good sized shrimp in there. Some Coke, water, Gatorade. There you go. Now dump that ice in. Now the backwaters of Crystal River can be extremely tricky when it comes to navigating. This couple was kind enough to show us the way. What you got there? All right, buddy. First redfish. Hey, lips. He lives on. It might be a cat out there. I think it is. Yeah, yeah, it's a cat. We're trying a little fishing in the back country. We're out in the mangrove area, kind of just inside where you'd go out in the grass flats and catch scallops out here on the Gulf Coast of Crystal River. Ricky caught two redfish. They weren't huge. I would say, I don't know, about 12 inches long each. Caught those right off the bat, so we got kind of excited, and then nothing and then nothing. And then I caught a catfish. And I don't know if Ricky, Ricky, did you catch anything else? Uh, no. So now it's kind of died down. So now we're gonna put some, uh, we're fishing with live shrimp, by the way, that we got at, at the marina. Um, so now we're gonna put the power pole up and head out to the Gulf a little bit. I think it's gonna be a little bit choppier out there. We'll probably try to grab four to six feet of water. Probably very similar to where the scallops are and we're gonna to try to do some uh, trout fishing out there. So we'll see what happens there. It's pretty grass though, right down here in this cut. Not like back in Tampa, this is all nice grass under here, even inland like this. Mangrove. What? A mangrove out here. They gotta be I'm 10. Six. Actually, I don't think that's a mangrove. That's, um, yeah, that's what oh, I that was easy. Spots. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Something different. Oh, no, that's a snapper. Yeah, you got yourself a snapper. Got your mangrove. Good job, buddy. Woo. Nice. What's that? Fish four? All I got to do is get three and I catch up to you? I got a fish. Aww. I can catch fish too. He's cute. See? You want to keep him for dinner or are we doing something else for dinner? We'll, we'll get, yeah, we'll catch some more fish. Later? Okay. Trout. There we go, he's 15 and a half. Nice. Pop up that. There you go, buddy. What you got there? Might oh. have a keeper. He's gonna be close. Let's give him a little measure. Right on the nose. There's the tip of the tail. Actually, he's probably about, 
Yeah, about the same size as the other one. Good job. Nice. Yeah. So the nice thing about having the boat ramp right here in the RV park is we can just have Jen pull us right back, right back to camp. And home sweet home. Uno filet. See if you hang your knife off the and put a little downward pressure. That's why these knives are nice to flex. And you can just kind of, and you see how it takes it off all together. And then this is just nothing left on there. That's it. One down and it stops about right here. So what you can do is you can take it right there and then take, this is like the belly liner. Just take that off. That's why even though these are keepers, you wanna keep, you want bigger ones if you can get them because it takes a lot more of these. 15, 16 inch guys. Ready? Still good? Yep. Ready? Yep. Still good? Yep. Hold on, I'm not. All right. <laughs> I didn't put my bench close enough hold on I've done that Not yet Okay Thank you.
All right, you ready to roll? Let's roll. <laughs> 